Howdy. Hold on a second here. I'll be right back. Oh, come on, don't start that. <clears throat> I'm going to have a little background music. Not too loud to drown me out. A little music here. Hallelujah. Been a few days I've been trying to, uh, I don't know, just trying to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling, get myself a little more sanctifi sanctified and consecrated before I bring uh, any kind of a spiritual message. And, uh, I don't know, felt like, well, everybody probably has heard about it. This is YouTube and <laughs> information's flowing. But uh, when I first heard about the Colorado incident, uh, initially it was like a kick in the gut whenever I, you know, anything like this happens, it's like, you know, it kind of knocks the wind out of your spirit. But, uh, and then immediately uh, my head starts to racing and fantasizing about all the angles and, you know, what motive would motivate a normal guy, person, to do such a thing. It's a lot of context and character with the way you've been living up to that point. And, uh, you know what? God wouldn't let me get, get out here and upload my two cents worth of uh, what I think video, so... You know, and I thank God for that, <clears throat> you know, because uh, I'm learning, if I'm learning some things, finally after all these years trying to walk with the Lord, it's, you got to wait on Him, you know, not take, let this thing be your rudder, you know, not let your mind be your rudder, but let your spirit, let the spirit of the living God in you be your rudder, and you got to wait on Him to uh, lead you and guide you and direct you, so I didn't get on there as much as I wanted to, and offer my two cents worth of opinion, which is worth two cents or less. And, uh, but, uh, the Spirit been working on me about that, and, uh, just, if anything this, that the Father has given to me is get, get right. It's time to get right. It's time to lay aside every weight and the sins which so easily beset us. And, uh, I've got enough stuff in me to keep me busy working out my own salvation for me. I mean, if I lived to be as old as Methuselah, <laughs> yeah, I'd still have stuff. So, that's my message, you know. That's kind of what I felt like talking about tonight. Not for too long, but, uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Remnant, you're right. People on the straight gate path, a narrow way, which leads to eternal life. Few, few, capital F E W, be that find it. Few there be that find that path. And if you get on that, don't get off it. It's kind of, kind of hard to get back on it sometimes. So stay on it. But uh, just be praying. You know, I, I've, I've had a burden for. You know, I've had a burden for the people out there in Colorado, for sure. Pray and intercede for those folks, for the victims who are still enduring, you know, physical trauma, spiritual and emotional trauma for the families of the victims who didn't make it or who are even recovering, fighting for their lives. And, yeah. Also, uh, Uh, I don't know, just get right. That's, that's about all the folks put on my heart is just to challenge people of God, his children, those who hear, hear his voice, to get right. Uh, the signs are clear. You know, Damascus is about ready to fall if it hasn't already. I've been hearing reports about a lot of disinfo and who knows what's going on with the Assad, his wife, and I guess his brother-in-law is dead. I don't know. Can't keep track. We've got too many things going on. But uh, lots to be praying about. Pray. Uh, get yourself prayed up for the 27th. That's a big day to be prayed up. And uh, at the start of the Olympics and the uh, UN gun ban treaty. With the UN. And, uh, be prayed up. 
on that day. But, uh, God bless you. And, uh, anybody needs prayer, I'm, I'm, in, I'm a prayer. I'm a prayer. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn down this wonderful lady. That'd be Kim Walker Smith. If anybody don't know, that's Jesus Culture. I love them. Young folks, they are anointed. Uh, anyhow. Let's pray. Get yourself prayed up this week and get yourself uh, eyes on the Lord. Eyes on Christ. It's so easy to get your eyes on all this stuff that's happening around. It's happening every day, you know. <clears throat> Rivers and lakes turn into blood and fish and birds and everything else under the, of God's creation dropping dead, falling from the sky, washing up on the riverbanks and all that. Floods and famines and locusts and plagues and pestilence and droughts and you name it, volcanoes and stuff in the signs in the heavens. <laughs> it's all happening simultaneously. Because the Lord is coming. I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come boldly with yet with humility in my in my soul, Father God, bowing down before you, Lord God, and uh, I thank you that you have, Father God, that you made a way, that you bridged that chasm between heaven and this earth, Father God, through your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Messiah, Father God. And I pray that, I just pray that the intercessors, the repairers of the breach, Father God, would stand in the gap, would stand in the gap, Father God, and that the watchmen on the wall, the watchmen and the watchwomen on the wall, Father God, would Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm, Father God. For the signs are clear, Father God, that your return is imminent, Father God. I don't know the day or the hour, but you said that we would know if we would look up and that we, if we would be aware that if our spiritual ears and our spiritual our eyes were open and attentive to what the Spirit of the Lord is doing, that we would know, and we know, Father God, that you're coming. And we know that we are indeed living in perilous times, Father God, so strengthen us. Strengthen us with your spirit, Father God. It's not by, not by might, not by strength, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And I pray, I pray for those who are... You know, I, I'm not against preparation, Father God, but I just pray that those who are trying going to try to fight this battle in the flesh with the arm of their flesh with the strength that strength that is carnal and sensual father god i pray that you would reveal to them lord god that this battle's not going to be won through that method through any methods of the natural mind or of the carnal or the sensual nature father god but this battle is yours the battle belongs to the lord and it's a spiritual battle, so I pray that the, the brethren, the remnant, Father God, would don their full armor of God. They would don the full armor of God, Father God, and that they would war in the Spirit, Father God. And I give you glory, and I thank you, Lord, for all you're doing in, in, the, in, the, in the remnant at the, in these last hours of, of history. pray that you give them strength, give them courage, give them an urgency in their spirit to reach out to their family, to their loved ones, to their co-workers. And when they're out and about in the highways and the hedges that they would uh, be spiritually alert to uh, be a witness, to be a light, to be light and salt, Father God, to anyone who would have a ear to hear. Because the door of the Ark of the New Covenant is closing, Father God, and I pray we'd be oiled up, that our lamps would be oiled up and our wicks would be trimmed father god so uh i just thank anybody who's come through here listening to this humble simple <laughs> servant of the most high god and uh if anybody needs prayer i'm here for you if anybody needs prayer uh has any concerns got any questions by all means feel free to come through drop a pm to me i'll do whatever i can in my power to uh, enable by the spirit of the living God and by that kind of power 
to uh, help you out, pray with you. Uh, if anybody has stopped through that doesn't know Christ and doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about, I'm wondering what I had my eyes closed and what I was who I was talking to. I was talking to my daddy, my Abba Father, God in heaven. And if you don't know him and you'd like to know him, and uh, you're interested sincerely, by all means, shoot me a PM. I'd like to. Uh, I'd love to uh, have, take the opportunity to share with you. I give you my phone number. We can chat on the phone if you need to. Because I'm just text messaging and all that's just way too inefficient. <laughs> Yeah, I'm old fashioned. Give me a phone call, would you? Quit texting me. Anyhow, that's all I got. God bless you. Uh, be prayed up for the 27th. That's a big day. Not sure what's coming. <laughs> Keep your eyes up. See some f round discs and some funny little dudes coming. <laughs> Make sure you rebuke them in Jesus' name. All sorts of lying signs and wonders are coming to the face of this earth. And don't let it catch you unawares. Be walking in the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit every day. That's not a one-time deal. Be continually getting yourself filled up. It's overflowing. Amen. And, uh, all right, I'm going to shut up. Thanks for stopping in. This is uh, Get Out of the Boat. Thank you for uh, giving me your ear. And... Uh, it's it's a humbling uh, honor and a privilege to uh, that anybody to have anything <laughs> have anything to do with me, let alone have a look, give me their ear, let me uh, speak a speak a now word to them. So uh, I'm gonna be gone now. Y'all have a good week. Monday, getting back to work and uh, love on your neighbors, love on your family, love on your friends and coworkers, and uh, be not ashamed of the power. And the, of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to those who believe. So that's all I got. Take care. Have a great week. Bye bye.